बोले श्री गणपति भगवान के जय श्री जगदंबिका मा के जय नमः पार्वती पतये हर 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 महा वक्रतुंद महाकाय सूर्यकोटि समप्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे दे सर्वकार्यु सर सर्वंगलमंगल्य शिव सर्वा साधिके शरण्येत्रिके गौरी नारायणी नमोस्तु ते चंद्रकलाधर सांब सदा शिव चंद्रकलाधर सांब सदा शिव चंद्रकलाधर सांब सदा शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव चंद्रकलाधर सांब सदा शिव चंद्रकलाधर सांब सदा शिव शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव शंभो महादेव शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव ओम नम शिवाय शिवाय नमो 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 शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव चंद्रकलाधर सांब सदा शिव चंद्रकलाधर सांब सदा शिव शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव चंद्रकलाधर सांब सदा शिव चंद्रकलाधर सांब सदा शिव शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव ओ शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव शंभो महादेव शंभो महादेव 
शिव शंभो महादेव ओम नम शिवाय शिवाय नमो 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 शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो महादेव शिव शंभो वंदे देव मुति सुरगुर वंदे जगत कारण वंदे पन्नगभूषण मृगधर वंदे पशूना पति वंदे सूर्य शशाकवाहन नयन वंदे मुकुंद प्रिय वंदे भक्त जनाश्रय वरद वंदे शिव शंकर वे शिव शंकर भगवान की जय श्री गुरु चरण सरोज रज निज मन मुकुर सुधार बरनो रघुवर बिमल जसु जो दायक फल चार कि बुद्धिहीन तनु जानिके सुमिरो पवन कुमार बल बुधि विद्या देहु मुहे हार हु कलेश विकार तो क्या करना सिंह हनुमान जी चालीसा the oldest of all the hindu songs the one that really brings the bliss the the, the one that really brings comfort in our lives shri hanuman ji maharaj chalisa ki jay hanuman gyan gun sagar jay kapish tinu lok ujagar ram dut atulit bal dhama anjani putra pavan sut महावीर विक्रम बजरंगी कुमत निवार सुमत के संग कंचन वर्ण विराज सुवेश कानन कुंदन कुंचित केश हाट भद्र और भजा विराज कान्हे मूझ जने सारे शंकर सुवन के श्री तेज प्रताप महाज विद्यावान गुनी अति चातुर राम काज कर देखो आदि प्रभु चरित सुन रे को रसिया राम लखन सी दाम बसिया सूक्ष्म विकट रूप हरि लंक जरा भीम रूप हरि असुर संहार राम चंद्र के काज सवार लाल सजीवन लखन जिया श्री रघुवीर हर शिवर लाल रघुपति की भी बहुत पढ़ाई तुम मम प्रिया भरत संभाई सहस बदल ब्रह्मादि मुनीषा नारद सारद सहित अहिषा यम कुबेर दिगपाल चाहते तुम उपकार सुखी वही की तुम मंत्र विभीषण माना भंगेश्वर भय सब जग जाना सहस्र योजन पर प्रभु मुद्रिका मेरी उपमा दुर्गम काज जगत के जेते राम तुम्हारे तुम रखवारे सब सुख लह तुम्हारी शरणा तेज संभारो आते साक्ष निकट नहीं आवे रोग हरे सब मीरा निरंतर हनुमत मीरा संकट से हनुमान चुनावे 
सब पर राम तपस्वी राजा मनोरथ जो कोई लावे जीवन पर पावे चारोग पर ताप तुम्हारा पर से भी जगत जियारा साधु संत के तुम रखबारे असुर निकंदन राम द्वारे अष्ट सिद्ध नव निधि के दाता सुबल दीन जान के माता राम रसायन तुम्हारे पासा सदा रहो रघुपति के दास तुम्हारे भजन राम को भावे काल रघुवर पुर जाई यहाँ जन्म हरि भक्त कहाए और देव का चित्त न दरे अनुमत से ही सर्व सुख करे संकट कटे मिले सब मेरा जो सुमेरे हनुमत बलवे ओ बोलो जय 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 हनुमान दुसाई कृपा करो गुरु देव की नाही जो शत बार बात कर कोई चुपल बंदी महासुख हो जो यहाँ पर हनुमान चली सा सीदास सदा हरि चेरा की जय नाथ हृदय महादेव की जय नाथ हृदय महादेव की जय नाथ हृदय महादेव पवन तन संकट हरण मंगल मूरति रूप राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय में बसहू सुर भूप बोले पवन सुत हनुमान की जय सिया भज राम चंद्र की जय गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरवे नम बोले गुरु महाराज की जय माय प्रणाम टू ऑल ऑफ यू on behalf of uh, bhavani shankar mandir and all its uh, volunteers and servants i we send you the blessings of bhagwan shiv and mata parvati from the humble abode of bhavani shankar mandir in brampton ontario it is uh, so lovely for all of us to be in satsang again on a beautiful thursday evening and uh, to really celebrate life to really bring an end uh, to the day that we have had and uh, to really share our joys together as you know satsangatve nisangatvam nisangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischalitatvam nischalitatve jeevan mukti if we cannot find freedom in satsang then it is not satsang that we are in if we cannot find uh, the power to let go in satsang then what we are in is not called satsang friends letting go in our life is a a very important thing in all aspects of our life let go when hanuman ji remember teen lok he is a master jai hanuman gyan gund ga jai kapis tin ho lok ujagar i explained this some time ago to you he is the master of the three worlds meaning time past present future he is able to master the past master the past meaning let in go because if we have to hold on to everything um in life that we come in contact with if we have to hold on to everything we see if we have to take home everything we have if we have to grieve for everything what we have lost our entire life my friends will will be spent on this life just tying ourselves up to this world letting go is an important thing we use the word detachment in life but i'm going to use a more simple term to you today that is called letting go satsang allows us to let go it means we have to be free why is letting go so important why you know today we say it passively just let it go right just let it go when you let something go it does not mean that you're submitting yourself to to weakness or your um you know you're allowing someone to overpower you no when you say let something go it does not mean that you don't have the strength to overpower it it does not mean that you don't have the courage it doesn't mean anything like that just let it go means your your attention is not worth giving it to something so um minuscule in life no it means that your focus 
is so powerful, it is so big, it is so uh, above life that you, it's not worth giving your attention to things that don't matter in life. And we, we are taught to let go in an early stage of life because it prepares us for letting go of bigger things. As a child, our toys sometimes are taken away, our, our toys get lost, our pencils get broken, you know, and it breaks our heart. When we were little in school and we had a long pencil, that was a prestigious thing, you know. You have a long pencil. <laughs> and if somebody broke it, it's like as though they broke your heart. That is the our day's time. And then even if you lose something simple, as we always say in our Qatar, that when you, when you lose your wallet, it's like you've lost your whole identity. When you've lose, lost your key, it's, lost, it's like you've lost your whole drive in life. You haven't lost your drive in life, you've just lost your key. It, it prepares us for bigger losses in life. When we lose someone or a relationship or something that uh, goes uh, significant in our life, what happens, my friends? We have to be prepared to let go of things in life. Satsang allows us to let go in life. Satsang allows us, my friends, to be free. Satsang allows us to rise above. Satsang allows us to swim in this ocean, not to, to drown in it. Satsang allows us to live in harmony. And this, what we call Shanti Satsang, allows us to dwell in peace and to live in peace. Troubling times we are living in and help is coming on its way. But in the meantime, let us continue to be in this satsang, my friends. Today is uh, Purnima, or uh, uh, what we call Satyanarayan Vrat, uh, is done on this way, fasting to Bhagwan Satyanarayan. On this day, um, we do fasting as we are doing today, so there's no dinner tonight. Um, but uh, people do fasting in different ways. Uh, in our home, it's mostly practice where food is not cooked. and. Uh, so we live off of uh, whatever we have stored up for all the many days. Tonight we'll talk a little bit about Satyanarayan Katha, Satyanarayan Bhagwan, and when and how Satyanarayan Puja should be done. Tonight we'll talk about the occasions and when Satyanarayan Puja is done, and more so how it is done and the, the, the approach and everything like that. Before we do that though, we will continue to glorify Bhagwan um, in, in many ways. The children will sing a beautiful bhajan to Bhagwan Sri Narayan. And uh, please uh, join with them together as we glorify Bhagwan Narayan. Narayana is worshipped especially on the full moon day, but not only on the full moon day. We will talk about that. Please enjoy this dedication to Bhagwan Sri Narayan. Jai Jai Hey, hey. 
श्री सत्यनारायण स्वामी की जय ऑन द फुल मून डे और व्हाट वी कॉल पूर्णिमा समथिंग वेरी मैजिकल हैपन इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड वी गोना टॉक अबाउट दैट टुडे अबाउट द इंपैक्ट ऑफ द मून इन आवर लाइव्स अबाउट द इंपैक्ट ऑफ नारायण इन इन आवर लाइव्स and more so what is our response to these things because when the night comes we respond to the night when the day comes we respond to the day when uh, the sun uh, comes out or, or the rain pours every instance we respond to them so how do we respond to the full moon and we'll talk about that tonight of course as we start today my friends we're going to charge up the energies we're going to charge up our minds to receive the blessings of bhagwan narayana so please join with me in dhun and in kirtan as we glorify bhagwan narayana oh om namo chant with me this very simple prayer shanta karam bhujag shayanam padmanabham suresham vishwadharam gagan sadrisham मेघवर्णम शुभागम लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगिविध्याण गम वंदे विष्णु भाव भय हरम सर्वलोक कर्णाथम नारायणाय विदमहे वासुदेवा धीमहे तन्नो विष्णु प्रचोदयात हो नमो नारायण दिस इज वेरी सिंपल कीर्तन ओ नमो नारायण ओ नमो Oh 
नैमिषारण्य ऋषया शौनकादया प्रप्यचुर्मुनया सर्वे सूत पौराणिक खलु व्रते न तपसा कि प्राप्य वाचित फल तत्सोम This is the opening verses of the Sri Satya Narayan Vrat Katha. How did Satya Narayan Katha come to this world? Today's Katha, I want it's a lot of talking, so I want you to pay real rapt attention because I think you need to understand a little bit more about Satya Narayan Bhagwan Katha. How did it come to this world? Ekda naimi sharanya rishaya shaunakadaya. Once. Shaunak Muni, Sudji Maharaj rather, was narrating to Shaunak Muni and 88,000 rishis in the forest of Naimisharanya. He was narrating, of course, the greatness of Bhagwan Sri Satyanarayan Katha. Now, let me ask you a question. You know, if you sit in a, in a little home and you have a few people there and the Pandaji is talking, in most cases they they will use a microphone because with a microphone and a speaker you get a little bit more sound it is more clear the you know the voice is is not strained a lot and the speaker the speaker actually gets to speak with ease in a forest where there was 88000 rishis in a time when there wasn't any microphone any public speaking system How was it possible for Sut Ji Maharaj, a young boy of just 16 years, to narrate the Satya Narayan Katha to 88,000 other rishis and saints? How was it that possible? You see, the thing that we have to understand is when a katha is being done, when a puja is being done, my friends, when worship is being done. when satsang is been done that entire space becomes consecrated and this is a word i want us to get used to consecrated consecrated means it is charged with energies and for that reason we have always encouraged families that when puja is done or when a satsang is happening there must not be anyone cooking at that time I have sorted these issues out in our community here and I hope that wherever you're living be it in the states or or wherever it is in Canada and elsewhere whenever there is a puja happening in your home Satyanarayan katha is, is home puja when there is a puja happening in your home and you've invited guests and whoever to come friends always remember that all your preparations including cooking must be done before the puja starts everything must be done um bartan manje patondong clean up everything is done even the cooking people everyone they are seated nobody is walking around your prasad must be taken out covered up nicely everything is nearby everybody sits down now and we're doing bhagwan puja that is how puja is done because if the puja is going on and then you have everybody cooking and somebody's strain rice and and they are past this and past that of course what's going to happen it's a distraction to what is going on regardless if it's happening outside or inside but more so there is a consecrated space there where the puja is done that place that home becomes consecrated if you even sit in that home If you even sit in that home, the mere fact that you're present there means that you're part of a process. You're part of a process where energy is flowing, where there is beautiful satsang, where there is beautiful discussion. You're part of that process. Even if you're not connected in this way, what happens? The fact that you're physically present there means that you are receiving something, and that is why. when you go to a puja and satsang and so always be where it is happening nowhere else nowhere else suji maharaj was speaking to 88000 rishis my friends all of them were not hearing the satyanarayan katha in a forest where there are trees and everything 
Naimisharyanya is still in India, by the way. All of them were not hearing what was going on. All of them are not hearing what is going on. But the fact that they're all there, my friends, their hearts were pleased because something good was going to be done. So he started. So they all asked Sudji Maharaj, this young saint. Vratena tapasa kimwa prapyate vanchitam phalam. Everyone, when we do something, we want to know what are the benefits of doing that thing, right? Most likely, most, most of us would not want to do something unless there is a, a fruit behind it, unless you're selfless. Well, all of them ask that, Suji, we have heard about Satyanarayan Katha. Please tell us about the origin of Satyanarayan Katha. And what are the benefits of Sri Satyanara and Bhagwan Katha? And so Suji Maharajas, Narado Naiva Samprishte Bhagavan Kamalapati Surashaya Yetaivaha Tachunudham Samam. Suji Maharaj says that once, the story begins now, that Naraji came to this earth. Naraji, who has the ability to be wherever he wants to be, how long he wants to be there, he came to visit this earth. And what, when he came, he saw very different things and he was very disturbed. He saw that some people, they were having wealth and shelter and food in lavishness and in great abundance. And then he saw some people did not have any. It is still happening today where there are many people, you know, uh, wasting life. They have in abundance while some don't have at all. Now, let's not try to find a solution for that because, you know, we have to understand the karmic uh, uh, deeds and all that. So Naraji came and he could not understand why people, some people were so happy, they were living in palaces while some were so poor and they had nothing. Some were overeating, some did not have food to eat, some were overdressing, some did not have any clothes to eat, uh, to wear rather. Um, so that kind of imbalance he saw. Naraji being a sant, being a sant, a sant means someone who possess a certain qualities. A sant or a saint is someone who possess certain qualities. A sant or a saint, when they see you in distress, they will become distressed as well. A sant, when they see you happy, they will celebrate with you. A sant, a saint, when they see someone in need, they will make attempts to help that person in need. Naraji, when he saw the suffering of the world, he went straight to Bhagwan Satyanarayan. And when he went to Bhagwan Satyanarayan, my friends, the Lord was in Shankachakkala Padma, uh, his four hands sleeping in the Milky Ocean. And what happened? Bhagwan Na uh, Narayanji was there. Narada, the saint, went and he bowed to Bhagwan Narayana. Narayan says, my son, how come you're visiting me today? What help can I give to you? Naraji says, Prabhu, I'm here because I went to the earth and I saw these imbalances that we talked about. Please tell me, O Lord, how I can help the people of the earth. Remember, Naraji's request here is not to help himself. His request is not to help himself. Tell me how I can help me. Tell me a mantra or a puja or a process where I can help me. Tell me of something how I can help the earth and the people on the earth. You see, when our prayers are selfless, my friends, when our prayers are selfless, they will be answered. And so Bhagwan Narayan says, I will tell you about how you can help the earth, the people of the earth. Because you have asked me this question, not for you, but for others, I will tell you how you can do that. My friends, this is Narayana. Narayan Bhagwan, Bhagwan Vishnu, he never gives up. He never gives up, my friends, and he will take so many forms to come 
and to ensure that we are taken care of. We have to take a little time to ensure that we are taken care of as well in the forms of fasting, puja, tapasya, and all these things. This is how kind-hearted Bhagwan Sri Narayan is. This is how helpful Bhagwan Narayan is. He can leave his uh, comforts to come down to all of us, my friends. And that's why we say, Narayan Karuname Sharanam Jai Lakshmi Pati Vishnu Sharanam. Let us sing this dhun together. And then when we come back after this dhun, I will tell you what Nar Satyanarayan Bhagwan told Naraji that can resolve the problems of this earth. All of you join with me. I think you know this, uh, this uh, bhajan very well. It is saying, O oh, merciful Lord, please grant refuge in me. Pranam to you, Bhagwan Satyanarayan, the consort of Mahalakshmi. Dispel my sorrows, O Bhagwan, and eradicate all my pains. Remove all fears from within. Hey Bhagwan Narayan, grant me your merciful protection. To you, Bhagwan Narayan, we say victory. Save our devotees of the world from humiliation. O Lord, O friend, O Lord of creation, give us refuge. O Supreme Lord Narayan. It's a prayerful bhajan. So let's all sing together. I want to hear your voices and I want to hear you clapping as well. After this dhun, we'll talk how we can resolve some of the challenges of this art. Jay, 
जय 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 लक्ष्मीपति शरणम जय 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 लक्ष्मीपति शरणम जय 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 नारायण शरणम जय 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 नारायण शरणम जय 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 listened to the request of Narad Muni and he says Narad I will tell you how you can fix that problem in this world Satya Narayan Vrat Katha he says Narad that there is one there is one process which when it is followed properly it can relieve Dukkha, Shokha, Vinash it can relieve sorrows it can relieve pains. Daridra, it can relieve poverty. It can re relieve mental anguishes. This one process is called Satyanarayan Vrat Pujan Katha. He says, Narad, first of all, the reason why some are in happiness and some are in sadness is because of karma. And we, I think we know right now what karma is. You are designing your own life, you are what you are today because of who, what you have invested in. You have invested in good thoughts, good actions, you know, good thinking, uh, good words, then you are a, a result of that. My friends, you are a result of that. So what happens? Bhagwan Satyanarayan says that the, the cause of punishment, the reason behind punishment and the reason behind happiness, first of all, is because of us. Now, how he says we can fix that? He says we have to do more. There is a process called Satyanarayan Vrat Pujan Katha. What is this? Families must pray more together. You know the saying, a family that prays together stays together. So he recommended that Naraji, I want you to go to the earth. And I want you to implement this process called Satyanarayan Vrat Puja. And I want everyone to be part of the process. He said that families must pray more. Husband and wife should pray more and together. This is not the time, my friends, when a wife sits alone to do a puja or a husband alone and so on. Certain times due to circumstances that happens, but in a normal state, the husband and wife, along with children, if they have, should sit for prayers regardless of what the prayers are. A family unit, my friends, you know, we say unit. A unit is not a one standing leg. You know, a, a chair unit is not a leg alone that is standing. It is only complete when all the parts are put together. Then it's called a unit. This family unit or this institution called a family must, my friends, uh, act accordingly. So, what happens? He says people must pray together and he recommended Satyanara and Bhagwan Katha. How the puja must done? Satyanara and Vrat Katha. It can be done any evening. It cannot be done in the morning. Any evening. Not only Purnima. As long as it is as done with Bhakti, Shraddha and Vishwas, it can be done in any evening to Bhagwan Satyanarayan. He even talks about how the preparation should be made, that you must offer you know, bananas and, and fruits. There must be Sankirtanam, there must be Katha, it must be read by a Brahmin. And after that, there is sometimes dancing in the Satyanarayan Katha in the name of Narayana. There must be musicians. And after that, people go away thinking about Narayana. When Naraji heard about this, my friends, what happened? Naraji came back to this earth and he brought Satyanarayan Katha. It is because of a saint who met the Lord and who learned this process. It is because of him that Satyanarayan Katha is in our lives today. There is one in the first uh, Adhyay, of course. We learned about the coming of Satyanarayan Katha. Now, in the second Adhyay, we talk about one uh, beggar. He was a beggar in the place of Kashi. He was a Brahmana, but forget about the chaos for now. He was just, uh, you know, caring about his day. And uh, what happens? He used to beg. 
The Lord saw him from the heavens, and the Lord came, taking a form of an old man, and said, Shatanand, do not beg. Do not beg that it is wise for you to pray. Beg. Mangna hamara dharm nahi hai. Begging is not our dharma. We are not, you know, a lower form of life. We are uh, very gifted people in many ways. So begging is not our dharma. The Lord took a form and came down, my friends, and says that, Hey, Shatanand, please, as of tomorrow, stop this begging, accumulate everything that you have, and perform Satyanarayan Katha. And in so doing, you will gain mukti on this earth, freedom on this earth. Shatanand listened to him. He gathered everything, a beggar. And he performed Satyanarayan Katha on a monthly basis. Satyanarayan Katha, my friends, is, a, is a, a family puja. But he did not have any family. He invited his families, his, uh, who was his families? His, the people who he used, used to beg from. And he performed it on a monthly basis. When Shatanan the beggar died, my friends, you know what happened to him? The beggar, he actually went to heavens and the next birth, he became Sudama, the great friend of Sri Krishna. This Satyanarayan Katha, my friends, is very powerful and it must be done with lots of faith in our lives. Now, I'm going to tell you now when you should perform the Katha uh, on certain occasions and how it should be done. But before we do so, we'll have a beautiful bhajan by the girls. They're going to dedicate this bhajan to a beautiful form of Narayana called Ram Bhagwan. And uh, Bhagwan Ram, of course, is a, is a very unique form, very dynamic form of the Lord Narayan, who came to live as a human being. And uh, who, of course, uh, uh, you know, his life, he struggled for all of us. Please enjoy this bhajan. Ragu bhai de ragu bhai de ragu bhai 
रघुवर रघुवर तुमको मेरी लाज अ ब्यूटिफुल सॉन्ग टू भगवान राम ऑफ कोर्स अ प्रेयर टू भगवान राम to save our dignity and to more so to become one with Sri Ram. On this very full moon day, my friends, we talk about the worship of Satyanarayan Bhagwan. We heard about how Bhagwan Satyanarayan sent this very beautiful puja to our art called Satyanarayan Vrat Katha. When the puja is done, Satyanarayan puja, there must be fasting happening in our life. I want to talk to you about fasting. Today my friends when the moon is full when the moon is full what happens as the moon comes closer to the earth the water rises the tides of the river are very high the water level in the oceans rise because the moon comes closer what this means as well that since our body is made up of 42% uh, 72% of water since our body is made up of 72% of fluid as the moon comes closer the water level in our body as well will rise and when the water level in our body rises guess what happens then we find that we we are fuller on this day we you know as much as you want to eat your body is saying to you i am full but your eye is saying to you i didn't eat so what happens you eat on this day and you drink extra on this day and then you feel bloated or you feel a sense of uncomfortableness because the the water level in the body is risen your body is full but you're putting in more food so when that happens you feel uncomfortable and an uncomfortable feeling is expressed that is why people say in the world that when it is full moon people lose their mind right they lose their mind it is not that they're losing the mind it is that the body is telling you this is how i want to behave today i want some ease i'm full i want to be given some rest let my arteries let my organs take some rest on this day but you are saying no I didn't eat my 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 food and you put more thing inside what happens it really uh, it does not allow the body to work how it's supposed to work full moon day or purnima and ekadashi these are days my friends when the body naturally supports itself you don't need to eat other other than for med- medical reasons right if you get blood sugar problems and so So it is a day when vrat must be done when fasting should be done So Satyanarayan puja requires a bit of sacrifice to do this fasting Now my friends how has bhagwan satyanarayan influenced people in their life There was of course in the satyanarayan katha this beautiful story about the sadhu and his wife uh, uh you know they made a promise They made a promise to Bhagwan Satyanarayan that Prabhu we cannot bear children or we we can bear a child so please oh lord give us a child and if you give us this child you see the bargaining here if you give us this child Prabhu uh, uh we will do big satyanarayan puja for you Bhagwan did not care about what they are going to give him because whether you give to the lord or you don't give to the lord the lord will remain the lord right So the the trader and his wife Lilavati his wife's name was Lilavati they give birth now to a beautiful girl her name was Kalavati So what happened when the daughter was born the wife reminded the husband that listen you know we are blessed by Bhagwan Satyanarayan now you have to do puja because you know we have to fulfill that promise He says ah when uh, she grows up a little bit and turns a young lady then we'll do one big puja satyanarayan katha and give thanks to bhagwan satyanarayan wife says okay so now girl goes up become a young lady wife goes to husband says you know we promised bhagwan satyanarayan we change that so and so let's do satyanarayan puja the husband says no don't worry about it when she's getting married we'll do one big satyanarayan puja invite the whole village and everybody make one thing none then finish everything 
And so the girl now found a husband to get married. And then what happened? The wife says, well, we got to do Satyanara and Puja now. What are you going to do? He says, uh, when she has a child now, then everything will be fine. So uh, <laughs> Bhagwan Satyanara says, this is the, uh, you know, procrastination is a very bad thing for life and for God as well. <laughs> you know, God doesn't put you off. Why are we putting off God? Right? God does not neglect you for one day. Why do we neglect God for, for our lifetime? We cannot neglect our Lord when God has not neglected us, my friends. The Lord says, you know, there are times in life when we, we, we talk about meeting challenges. Right? We Meeting challenges. We are the cause of all the challenges we are meeting. The Lord says, uh, Sadhu, a merchant, I'm going to remind you a little bit now of, uh, you know, what your responsibilities are in life. What happened, my friends? One day, you know, so many calamities came in the life of this merchant. So many calamities came. He went with his son-in-law to do business with their boat. And what happened? In his boat, there was so much merchandise in there, all forms of goods and so on. And the sadhu, the merchant saw an old man, a beggar coming from far, and he says, hey, bhai, this man will come beg me for something. I got to give him things. And the old man came and says, Sadhu, Sadhu, merchant, you know, what do you have in your boat? He says, Now me latta patta hai. In my boat, there is just leaves and shrubs and so on. There's nothing important. Uh, go, go, go. The man says, What is in your boat? He says, uh, I don't have anything valuable in there, just leaves and so on. And the old man says, So be it. So be it. <laughs> so be it. And everything in the boat, my friends, became leaves and shrubs. You know, when somebody asks you how are things and, yeah, you know, things are good, but you say things bad. Because sometimes you're afraid to tell people things are good, they may want to get some help on you. My friends, if you continue to tell people about our problems of life or present life as a problem, life will always be a problem. Right? If you continue to present life as a problem, then you will find life will always be a problem. And there are some of us like that. We have nothing but problems to talk about. We can't share happiness. You know, we can't share shanti. We can't pass peace around. All we do is we pass our problems around. And that is not good. Because what you present your life as, that is what life will, will, will give you back. So things are not always bad, my friends. You know, things are not always bad. Now, what happened to this promise that we make in life? Let's talk about these things. Now, let me have a little gaff, as we will say. Now, some people will tell you, um, uh, Gyal, you know, never do Durga Puja because as long as you do Durga Puja one time or Satyanarayan Puja one time, you have to do it every year. Have you ever heard that gaff before? You have. Good. And so people are, oh, Panji, me, me, um, you know, even Navratri, the temple, People will come and they'll give them donation. Pandiji me no Durga Puja. So why? Because if I do it this year and we forget to do it next year, you know, then uh, whatever, I'm gonna be punished. Mata is gonna punish us. Or if we start do Satyanara in Puja, then what what happened? Um, you know, uh, every every year I have to do Satyanara in Puja. That is not that is not what it is. Right? If you have a bargain with God, my friends. You know, puja is an expression of your love. If you have the desire to express your love for God in the form of a Durga path or a Satyanara in Katha, then you express that feeling. If things are bad because of COVID, for example, and you can't do your Durga path or your Satyanara in puja, then what is God going to do, my friends? Do you think God is going to sin you? Or let us say even that you made a commitment Ma Durga, I will do puja for you for the rest of my life in, in the month of April every year. Now what happens? COVID kicks in. There's no pandit. There's no puja sarjam. There's no nothing. What are you going to do? You think Ma is going to sin you because you made a promise and you can't fulfill it? No. If circumstances, I'm telling you not my opinion here. I'm telling you the, the injunctions of our scripture. If circumstances does not permit you to do the, the prayer or fulfill that promise... There was no sins committed. But if you find excuses, 
If you find excuses to avoid your commitment, then that's a problem, right? That's, that's a problem. So don't ever think that because you do Satyanarayan Puja or you do Durga Puja, you have to do it continuously every year. That is not the case with our, our, our practices. Our God is not a cruel God. When I say our God, I mean there's one God, but whatever. But it is not a, a cruel God that's going to say, hey, here's my whip. You didn't do your puja this year. Come for licks. Hmm. Licks for you. You didn't do your puja this year. So let me take away all your wealth from you. Bum. No, no, no. God is not that cruel. We are that, like, like that. Not, 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 not God. We are like that. There is no cruelty in God. There is no punishment from God. But God throws this, this drama in life sometimes to remind us of our responsibilities. To remind us of our responsibilities. The merchant, my friends, what happened to him? The merchant, what happened to him? All his wealth that he had in the boat. You know, sometimes we have so much in life, but still we're crying out. We're crying out that things bad and whatever it is. And we're working every single day of our life just to die. That is what most of us are doing. We're working to retire. We can't wait for retirement. Why not, you know, be happy today rather than, than retirement? We are working five days of the week just to wait the weekend to come. It's like though our job is our life is a suffering, right? Don't make it like that. The life is not a suffering. It is something for us to enjoy. So what happens? His, uh, of course, all his belongings and so on uh, were, were, you know, diminished. And it so happened there was a king in the area, my friends, in the city where he went to. Uh, somebody has stole from the king. And then the, the, the thief ran in the direction of the merchant and the soldiers caught the merchant. They jailed him up and all that. It's a pretty long story. But in essence, what happened? His wife got some intuition that, you know, um, we are lacking something. We are lacking something. We have the means. We made a promise to do our prayers. But what happened? Nothing has prevented us from doing it. Not the weather, not COVID, not anything had prevented us from fulfilling our promises. But we just did not do it because we take God for granted. You see, my friends, if God doesn't come in and step in to discipline us in life sometimes, then everybody can make a promise to God and break it. Everybody can make a promise to God and break it. And then what would happen? We'll make a fool out of our Lord. That is not the, the purpose of our God. He is there to guide and to steer us in our life. So, the wife, my friends, along with her daughter, Lilawati and Kalawati, they sat together and they performed Satyanarayan Puja. Narayan, Narayan, Jai Jai Govind Hare. Narayan, Narayan, Jai Jai Gopal Hare. They start to pray to Bhagwan Satyanarayan. Narayan, Narayan, Jai Jai Govind Hare Narayan, Narayan, Jai Jai Gopal Hare Narayan, Narayan, Jai Jai Govind Hare Narayan, Narayan, Jai Jai Gopal Hare Govind Hare, Jai Jai Gopal Hare
Narayan Swami ki jai. The wife and the daughter sat. They fulfilled their responsibilities to Bhagwan Satya Narayan. Bhagwan Satya Narayan sent a message to the king who had locked up the merchant, my friends, and they released him. And from that day, my friends, he and his family, they performed Satya Narayan Bhagwan Puja regularly. When is the puja supposed to be done? On what occasions? Satya Narayan Puja. It's a requirement that if there is a wedding or sanskars, sanskars means, you know, we have 16 sanskars in our life. When uh, Garbadan sanskar, Karnaveda sanskar, Anprashan sanskar, um, you know, babies, uh, children are, are just not made in this world and left to be, to be raised by people around us. Children are, are you know, fathering or mothering a child is not about bringing a child physically in this world. I want you to know that. I have these things uh, on my list now, my friends, that we are making a podcast for different. And when they come out, I want you to listen to them very carefully. Why do we, why do we you know, uh, uh, two persons get married? I say two persons, regardless of your gender, you get married. Right? What is the purpose of your marriage? When you get married, boy, marry, girl, or whoever marry whoever, what is the purpose of your marriage? Right? If one of the goals of your marriage is to raise a family, if one of the goals of your, fa of, of your marriage is to raise a family, then do it well. Do it well. Raise your family well, my friends. How do you raise your family well? And I'm talking, I, I'm a Hindu first, before I am a human, before I'm a citizen, before I, anything, I'm a Hindu. I've always talked about that. Before anything else, I'm a Hindu, right? Regardless of my birth country, my country that I live in, or where my ancestors come from, first and foremost, I'm a Hindu, which means I'm going to govern my life like a Hindu. So I will raise my children like a Hindu. The Hindu system, the sanskaras, there are 16 sanskars. Sanskars mean, they don't mean a puja. Sanskar doesn't mean a puja. Now we do a little puja and that's a sanskar. No. Sanskar means activities done in a particular way to shape the life of your children. To shape the life of a children. 
when conception happens, time doesn't permit me to explain all this, but when conception happens, my friend, that is called Garbhadan Sanskar. You pray for us that, O oh Lord, in our scriptures, uh, this is evident, Raja Dashrat did this Garbhadan Sanskar. Uh, pray that, Prabhu, I don't have a child or children. May you bless us so that whatever, with a child or children, and whatever child or children that you bless us with, Prabhu, allow us to raise them well. That's called Garbhadan Sanskar. Then Simantoya Sanskar, this is the second one. When the mother is, is conceived now, is pregnant, in the third trimester of pregnancy, a particular sanskar is done called Simantoya Sanskar. Where, you know, uh, the, the father takes the brush and brushes the hair of the mother. I don't know if I've done it so many times for people because I'm educating them. They take the brush and they brush the hair of the mother, you know, because whatever experiences she goes through, you know, and you know when, you, when you're combing your own hair is one thing, but man, when you go to that, um, you know, that place, the salon, and, and cut your hair and wash them and thing, it's, it's, it has a relaxation feeling to it. You know what I'm talking about. Ladies especially, you, you do that stuff. Men, we do it too. They, you wash your hair and you bend back on them and brock your neck and wash your hair. <laughs> but when them, you know, take the hand and, and, and manage your hair a little bit, it's a relaxation feeling, right? The head. So in this sanskar, the Pandajis read some, do some puja and thing. The husband brushes the hair of the wife. And uh, the, 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 the woman, she experiences relaxation. It's a science. And when she experiences that relaxation, what happens? The baby relaxes as well. The baby relaxes as well. Science have told us, Swami Rama had done a, uh, a research on this, that whatever activities, whatever emotions, and whatever thoughts you have had three years prior to conception, that is what the baby will adopt. So whatever you have done three years prior to conceiving a child, that is what the, 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 uh, you know, the baby will bring into this world, my friends. That is what they will bring into this world. Anyway, Simantoya Sanskar. The father combs the head of the girl. She is relaxed. And then when the baby is born, there is Namkaran Sanskar, the naming uh, ceremony of the child. It's not just giving a name, Peter and Paul. It is calculating the planetary, uh, planetary positions and giving that child a name based on that planet, my friends. And usually I say, give them Hindu names. What has happened has happened. But give them Hindu names. Even the call name, if, if you don't like the Hindu name, give them a Hindu call name. Then there's Anprashan Sanskar, where before the child eats salt or grains, what happened? The child, before the child eats salt or grains, there is a Annapurne Sadapurne Shankara Pranavallave. A prayer is done to the Divine Mother to say, Ma, you know, your Annapurna, may the grains that the child will consume become medicine to his or her body. Then there's Karnaveda Sanskar, the boring of the ears for the girls. And there are so many other sanskars, my friend. There's, when they grow up big, there is a Viva Sanskar, which is, you know, a marriage ceremony and so on. So sanskars must be done in order to, to, to promote the growth of a child. Sanskars have to be done to promote the growth of a child. So what happens, my friends? What happens here is that uh, when these sanskars are done, in our tradition, mostly in the West Indian tradition, we don't do all of them. Today, though, my friends, what happens is that we, we teach the people like Simantoya Sanskar and so on. People are doing that now. Uh, you know, recently people are, are doing, un, un, uh, you know, Anprashan Sanskar and so on. So what happens then this Chudakarna, you know, the shaving of the head and thing like that. Shaving of the head ceremony is a very, very important Sanskar. Chudakarna Sanskar. You know, um, or what we call Mundan. Shaving of the head should occur, my friends, as soon as the scalp becomes... Uh, you know, ready for shaving. And uh, as, soon as, you, as soon as you can take out the hair from the head, the better it is for the child. You know, traditionally, when we were growing up, they scraped the hair in the nine day. Right? Today, they are afraid to do that. But, and when I say scrape the hair, I mean shave the hair, not clipping the hair. Because you know what happens these days when the child grows up, they, especially, if a, especially if it's a girl child, the child starts to get long hair. And what happens? 
mother and father becomes attached to that. This hair, my friends, is one of the greatest attachment that we have. That is why we, when people die and so we shave the head because we're cleansing ourselves of our attachments. You know, if you don't know that. We're cleansing ourselves of our attachments. So my friends, what happens? The earliest you can, you can, you can shave that hair, the better it is for the growth of that child. Why? Because the hair that they, 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 they took birth with is it, it's impure. It's birth hair. It's impure hair. It comes with an energy that is not wanted. So you scrape it out, my friends, and allow a fresh head of hair to grow. As soon as possible, nine days, if possible, do it. If not, it is done in odd months, like one, uh, three, five, seven, nine, and so on. But what happens if you leave it too long, then the parents say, Paniji, can I just clip it? No. If you clip, you can clip it. You can take a scissors and clip it and call it whatever you want. But that is not called Chudakarna Sanskar, my friends. That you're just clipping the edges. You're not shaving the head. You must know these things as Hindus. We, we have to be practical Hindus and we have to be educated Hindus. Right? Back to Satyanara and Katha now. Satyanara and Katha is done before any sanskars, major sanskars. So there are major sanskars and there are minor ones. The major sanskars are Yagyopavita sanskar, when the boys take janail. Then Viva sanskaras, when weddings happen. And then there is Yagyas as well, when Yagya or Yajna, as you know it, when that is done, Satyanara and Vrat Puja is done there. Let's talk about the wedding and the janeo because that's things you guys do the most or people do most, right? When you're doing a wedding as a Hindu, if you're doing a traditional Hindu wedding, a traditional Hindu wedding or a traditional janeo, there are four things according to our shastras that constitute a wedding or a janeo. Four things that must be done in order to make it complete. So for a wedding, Nandishrad must be done. Nandishrad, Nandishrad is a shrad that you do, right, for the ancestors. Um, you do not offer pindas and so, but it's shrad you do for the ancestors, inviting them to be part of the process. Because it is by the ancestors' blessings that all of this happened. So we do Nandishrad, honoring the ancestors. That's the first thing you do. After that, you do, for a wedding, you do Satyanarayan Vratkatha. Satyanarayan Vratkatha is done by inviting people to come and you sit as a family. Remember, Satyanarayan is a family unit. It's a family unit puja. You sit together and you do Satyanarayan Katha. You have some musicians and whatever it is and you have satsang. And it goes back, Prabhu, you've given us a child or children. Now they're getting married. We thank you and we allow you we ask you to bless them with the right foundations of life. That is a requirement, Satyanara and Puja. Then third, for a traditional wedding, there's a matikor. And you know what that is, digdati. You, you know, they dig the dirt and you, namo namo medhani lokamata, you bow to the earth and all that. And then fourth, the fourth thing constitute the completion of a wedding is the vivasanskar itself on the day of the wedding. These four things, when they are done, they form, they build a firm foundation for your child, for your children who are getting married. And then the question comes now, Panaji, so what if happen if me, if me not do that? <laughs> and you know what my answer is, right? My answer is, here are the benefits if you do it. Here are the benefits if you do it. I can't tell you about what will happen if you don't do it. Do you understand? If you have to go take a heart surgery, to save your heart, to save your life, then the surgery will save your life. But Panaji, what happened, or doctor, what will happen if I don't do it? You know what will happen if you don't do it. And that's not my problem, right? It's not my problem. So what happened, my friends? Sanskars are, Satyanara and Puja is done like that. Today's full moon, and I'm glad we are having this conversation. So many of you are logged on. Then Janeo Sanskar. Janeo is when the boys take the holy thread, so the same things are done, four things. Uh, Nandishrad, Satyanara and Katha, Matikor, and the, uh, the Janeo Sanskar is done. The four things that constitute, um, you know, a Janeo. When Yagyas are done, when you're doing a Yagya, 
it is always advisable as a family unit to do Satyanarayan Puja and Shrad before that Yagya is done, my friends. Because Bhagwan Satyanarayan, his purpose is to grow us as a family. Now, you will find these days as well, as a, as a practicing priest, that we are implementing traditions in a non-traditional society. And these are things we have to talk about. We are implementing traditions in a non-traditional society. They are people who are getting married and the only purpose of them getting married is to take some pictures. Right? That's, that's the only purpose. We want to take some pictures. We didn't live a Hindu life or anything, but we just want to take some pictures. So to drive, to implement a tradition into, into a non-traditional society is a very challenging thing to do in the time we live in. But I'm very thankful to our leaders in our community and to temples who are educating people that you know, our tradition is not only practiced because somebody did it, but, but there is a scientific and there are tremendous uh, spiritual values when we practice our traditions. And so that is the challenge we face, my friends. Two, we have the challenge we face is to implement our traditions in a non-traditional society. So how do you do that? So somebody is getting married, for example, and uh, Panaji, you know, this story too long, long. We want um, just the dignity maybe and just the wedding, right? So what you do as a priest? I'll tell you what you do as a priest, right? What I do as a priest. My job as a priest, and I say my job because... <laughs> Or my, my, my purpose as a priest. You have to be careful with this thing because people, you know, one slip of the word, people add their own flavor to it. I want it to be known, my friends, that I've always, throughout my life, been very public about this. I have never, ever, I have never, ever, ever in my 42 years of life and my over 30 years of being a pundit, I have never, ever charged somebody for doing anything as a pundit. I have never fixed a fee for, for doing a funeral, a wedding. I have never set a, a, a given people even an, an idea because people say, Parneji, I don't know, can you give me? An, I've never even given people an idea of what it takes to do this. I take my, my children, I take my musicians, I take my equipment, I drive my car, I prepare everything. And it, it takes time to do that kind of stuff. I spend my weekends just in people's homes. But I have never ever in my life, close to 30 years of being a priest, tell somebody it's going to cost you this much to do a wedding, to do a puja. You know why? I've, I've told you before. Because God's work is priceless. God's work is priceless. And, and there is no one. If, if there's anyone, I've, I've challenged people in the public to so stand up and tell me if Pandit Hardat has ever done that to you. Because my friends, this is what we're doing here as a priest. It is a priceless thing. There is no price we can put to it. Now people will give you, I don't even pay attention to that stuff. You know, Dakshna is, is a blessing. Dakshna, when, you, when it is given, it's accepted as a, as, a, you know, as a gift for the Lord's work. But there is no, there is no, I don't do it for a job. I have a full-time job. Uh, but this takes most of my time. The priesthood takes most of my time in the community. Yet, I have never. And anyone who I have taught to become a pundit, and who I will teach to become a pundit, the, the condition of, of me teaching you is that you shall never ever ask for money. Even if somebody forgot to give you money, even if you have gone through expenses, and somebody has forgotten to give you money, which in my case is my friend, it has happened so many times. Weddings especially, people, they have you do a wedding, everything, and people are having fun with their family. They forget about you, in some cases, not all. And you know what? You pick up your car, you go home, and you, and you go to your family. That's how straightforward, and that is how priceless this life is. That's my condition for teaching people. It's not a deal, this is not a deal, my friends. The minute you put a price on it, then my friends, what it is that we're doing. Now, 
I don't criticize anybody who does the opposite. If somebody has a price tag based on number of hours or not, that their business is none of my business. I'm a priest, I'm a professional in my, 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 my work. I cannot and I will not criticize another pundit. I want to make that very clear because this thing is very public. If there's anybody who has a prize for doing something, then that's your business, right? That's your thing, I, I don't, and that doesn't concern me. It does, you're not bad, you're not good, you're just doing what you have to, right? Satinara and Katha. Now what will happen? Somebody tells you as a Parnaji, Parnaji, I don't want to do all the long story, I just want to do the wedding and, and be finished with it. So what you do is that you do it because I prefer my friends. I prefer somebody, a non-traditional person, a non-traditional Hindu. I prefer to see them get married in Hindu customs than I prefer to see them doing another custom because a Hindu pundit, a Hindu priest is not available. And that is my policy. I'm like, here's the traditional way of doing it. You know, I recommend this, but you don't want to, that's fine. Then we will go into whatever uh, you accept. My friends, so what happens? You do, I have some very close people who are uh, uh, Vidya Basiram, you see, I've been their priest for over 20 years. And uh, Mukesh and Vidya, and anyway, I don't want to go into the comments now, we can talk about that later. But, um, so what you do, you go, um, you know, you go into, you go not with the flow, but you go with the recommendations that you have made and whatever people have accepted. Because the challenge is, my friends, we are promoting tradition in a non-traditional society. And I don't condemn people for that. I think that we have to educate our people. We have to educate our people. That is why so many of you are logged on today because you, um, you, know, you, you are interested in this discussion. Now, don't tell any pundit off, please, or never be rude. If you, if you interact with someone who has a prize and thing like that, and you don't like it, please don't cause trouble or tell them anything. Just do what you think is right. You understand? So we're dealing with that stuff. Um, so you do the wedding alone or the matikor and the wedding in most cases. So Satyanara and Katha is like that, my friends. The beauty and the purity of Satyanara and Katha, it is priceless. One of my favorite things to do my friends, and that's why I don't mind leaving my house Saturday and Sunday. You know, it costs me with my family time, but I don't mind sitting with families. Satyanara and Katha just drives a level of bliss in our lives that we can't understand. Whenever I do Satyanara and Katha especially, there is this level of bliss that comes and that I experience. And it has helped me tremendously in my life. Because to do what I do as a leader of our community, you have to have, you know, people support, but his support is very, very important as well. So what happens, my friends, is that it has a, a lot of discussion we did today, a lot of talking we did today, to you to understand that full moon and Bhagwan Satyanara and Katha is very important in our lives. Look at your calendar the next time, and when it is Purnima, do some kind of fasting. And if you're, even you're going to eat vegetarian food, just eat less so that your body does not disturb itself, right? So tonight, my friends, I hope you take this um, uh, little education and um, I hope you uh, apply it in your lives most of all because uh, that is important, uh, what we're doing here, applying this education in our life. God bless all of you, my friends, and I hope and pray that you are better Hindus. And... Um, you uh, become better human beings. Now to end, I'll give you a little quote. Always use, always use brand name products. Always use brand name products. Now all of you are going to think here, Panaji, you're simple yet significant. And so, you can see I right there. Okay, good. Anyways, so always use brand name products, right? I mean, we want to get into brand name products because we're going to hear all this stuff we're going to use. So here is what we do. For the lips, you use brand name products. For the voice, you use brand name products. 
For the eyes, you use brand name products. For the hands, you use brand name products. No? For the heart, you use brand name products. For the face, oh God, you use brand name products as well. So what kind of brand name products I would like you to use, my friends? I would like you to use. I would like you to use. For the lips, for the lips, I would like you to let the truth come out from your lips. I would like the, the, the lips, what kind of brand name should, should be used on the lips? Let the truth only... Do you know where lipstick came from? You guys know where lipstick came from? Where lipstick came from? Lipstick came from India. When the British were, had, you know, of course, ruled India, what happened? Our girls, they used to chew pan. And if you don't, if you have never eaten pan, okay, ke pan bana rasavala. Good. The best pan to eat is the Banarasi pan, Kashi Vishwanath. In pan, my friends, in a, in a, oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Asha got it right. Pan, uh-huh. So Asha got that right. I wonder how Asha got that right. Hey, Asha, let me tell you the story already. Okay, yep. Well, we know he came from India for sure. Well, here's what happened. Our girls in India, when they used to eat the pan, when you eat pan, Banarasi pan only, anyway. Anyways, when you eat the pan, the pan gives a red substance on the mouth, right? You see in the movies, they, when the men chew in pan, they are chew like this, and the mouth full, right? That's tobacco pan, no? And they'll be like, and they eat like this. <laughs> so, and the mouth full with the pan, right? So, what happened? The pan gives a red discharge because of what it's made with. It gives a red discharge on the lips. And what happened? When the British saw this, it looked beautiful on our girl children. It looked beautiful on our girl children, but the British, they were not into chewing that stuff. So, they created this thing called lipstick. Lipstick is origin from India, all right, because of pan. Can you tell me where, you know, the, the eye pencil came from? Can you tell me where the eye pencil came from? You know, we have to wear goggles and go in, the, go in places and do certain work with machine and so on. Now them ladies take a, a, a pencil and, and a joke their mind. <laughs> me can't understand that. <laughs> Right? Let me have a little fun now. So, me can understand. When me see, you know, mistress got the, um, you know, the pencil and the juke, I'm like, oh my, are you, that thing is dangerous. You know, we're not supposed to put that stuff close to us yet. The, you know, me never understand that. So, where this, um, where did I pencil come from? Uh huh, y'all get it right. Very good. Very good. Now, let me ask you a question too. Why do people put kajal? If you come from kajal, I pencil did come from kajal. Kajal means black partner or, or black substance. Now, why did they put on black substance on the eye? Because our Hindu tradition, the color black, right, is, you know, is, is a resistance. So what they did, they put on the kajal on the eyes like this so that their eyes will not give najar on anyone or anything around them. You know, for example, if I'm going to eat my food and you know how I like my bojan and things like that, I don't, I don't want anybody to look at my bojan and give me bad eyes. So I go home and my mama who watch me eat and okay, you know, whatever. So what happened? And if you have, you know, you're beautiful, you're good looking, whatever, like all of you are, you know, people put on kajal so that their eyes, their najar, or the negative energies or drishti as we call it, will not fall upon people. Ah, for bad eye, eh, bad eye, bad eye, bad eye, bad eye, evil eye, oh God, I know store name evil eye in Amsterdam, bad eye, evil eye, Najar, the thing named bad eye, right, Najar means bad eye, 
So they, they put on this thing on their, um, on their eyes, men and women put it on their eyes so that no bad eye could go on to anybody else. So the West saw this and it looked nice. So instead of doing the kajar, they sold us, they, they sold us eye pencil. And I don't even know how, you, you know, you got to be so skillful, man, to take that thing and, you know, put it on and just, I'm going to stick, you know, to what I do. Because anyways, yeah, it came from our traditions. Eye pencil came from our tradition. Lipstick came for, from our tradition as well, my friends. Uh, where did earring come from? Huh? Kanha meri lat sul jai de ti sul jai de ti mere haato me mehndi lagi hai ho where did nail polish come from where did nail polish come from kanha meri lat sul jai de ti mere haato me mehndi lagi hai when our indian tradition promote mehndi not just coloring the tips but coloring the whole hand. Mehendi is done to color the whole hand. To let your hands reflect beauty. Not only in the looks, but in the actions as well. In the actions as well. So what happened? When Mehendi is applied on the hand, my friends, the Mehendi is dried out. The tips of the fingernail are left colored. Are bhai, yeah, the West see this is a great idea. We're going to sell this to the East and make money out of them. That is how this came about. Pao mere pero me payal. Well, all of us know payal anklets came from Hinduism as well. You know, when you put on the anklets on your foot, that is a that is a um, a decoration today. This came from Bhagwan Krishna time and Bhagwan Ram time. In India, when the mom want to know where the baby is, they put on an anklet on the foot. So when the baby creep, they make nice. Oh. I know he's in the kitchen or outside or wherever it is. And that's Hinduism. Pao meri pero me payal Or laga de meri aankho ka kajal Ka no me kundal The earrings came from Hinduism as well through Karnaveda Sanskar. You know, boys, are, boys wear earring and girls wear earring too. But boys, hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Don't go bow your ears for fashion. It is called Karnaveda Sanskar. Karnaveda Sanskar. You pierce the ears and you put the earring inside so that the ears may be open to listen to the Vedas. Now, the thing is worn for a style today. I don't condemn it and I, I don't uh, condone it as well. It is what it is. I don't want to get around with people. But it is not wear for a fashion. It is worn as a Sanskar. No? Earrings came from Hinduism as well called Karnaveda Sanskar. Nail polish came, foot polish came, anklet came, kajal came, lipstick came. Are bhai, we have given business to this world. And today the West is giving us back all this thing, packaging it and giving us all back. Today, my friends, more West are doing yoga more than the East are doing yoga. If you start yoga thing in the Monday, no matter come. Because I, I teach yoga. But when the West come and put on an accent and says, you know, uh, this is yoga. Everybody buys it. So the West has repackaged everything for us nicely. And we are making the West wealthy with our own traditions. With our own traditions. So, for the lips, the brand name stuff to use for the lips is called truth. Only let truth come out of those lips. What do you use for the voice, my friends? Or what do you use the voice for? Let your voice... Let your voice be used for prayers. What do you put in your eyes? The expensive thing, the mascara and whatever it is. Let the eyes look at others to appreciate the beauty of their life. Let the eyes be used to appreciate the beauty in people's lives. Not the thorns, the beauty. What brand name stuff do you do with your hand? What do you rub in your hands, the brand name stuff? Don't tell me. Your hands... The most brand name product you can use the hands for is to use it in charity to others. In charity to others. For the heart, use it.
to give love to the world. And the face, what brand name products you put on the face? A smile. Use the face, my friends, the brand name product as a smile. And with this, my friends, we will be using all the brand name products in life. I do hope you, I do hope you enjoy tonight. There's a lot of gaffing, a lot of talking, but uh, this is what comes out of talking, teachings. And I hope you enjoy our discussion tonight, and uh, you'll continue to learn as we go by. Let us, friends, do uh, our final Halmanji Chalisa, which will be done by the children. I would like all of you to sing. Um, it is a beautiful Thursday night. We're all uh, happy. We've learned something. And let us now continue to grow. Children, always remember to say your prayers before you go to bed. Brush teeth first, say your prayers. When you wake up in the morning, say, you, you know, take your bath and everything. Do your prayers. Parents, keep loving your children. Feed them love all the time. And use these brand name products that I've talked about. Shri Guru Charan Sarojaraja Nijmana Mukura Sudhar Varnora Kupar Bimal Jasun Jodayak Bhalchar Buddhihina Tanujani Ke Sumiro Pavan Kumar Mal Buddhi Vidya Deho Jai Hanuman Gyan Gun Sagar Jai Kapish Tinu Naga Ujaga Ram Dutat Vit Baladam Anjali Putra Pavan Satanama Mahavir Vikram Bajaranti Kumit Nivar Sumati Ke Santi Kanjan Varan Viraj Suvesha Kanan Kundal Kunchit Kesha Aat Bhadra Dhuja Viraj Kani Muj Jane Usaj Shankar Suvan Ke Sari Sign it to me, Sadar Hone Kupati Kedas, to 
पवन तनय संकट हरण मंगल मूर्ति रूप राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय में बसहू सुर भूप बोले पवन सुध हनुमान की जय श्या भज रामचंद्र की जय Our sincere thanks this evening go out to uh, um, our sister Mohini Mohammed from our temple. Um, uh, she is a devotee of our temple, and uh, tonight she just wished to give thanks to Bhagwan Narayan uh, for the blessings of life. God bless you as well, Mohini ji, and your family, and uh, for always uh, thinking of us. And also tonight uh, it's dedicated to um, all mothers on behalf of uh, Sai Sandhan Raji from Tampa. especially uh uh didi gomati their mother and also to um danraji's mom who passed away over 19 years ago close to 20 years now her mother sita bisnat um we dedicate the satsang and these prayers in her name as well may you all stay blessed and in the name of bhagwan may you always uh, stay blissful as well let us do our prayers friends as we bring our satsang to closer and uh, we'll see sita ram to everybody शाताकार भुजगशयन पद्मनाभम सुश विश्वाधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्णम शुभा लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगिविध्यानगम्य वंदे विष्णु भयहर सर्वोकनाथ अस तो मज्जगमय तम सोम ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योमा मृत ओं शाति 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 हरिओ प्रेम से बलो भवानी शंकर भगवान की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय सिया भज राम नंद की जय राधा कृष्ण भगवान की जय गणपति भगवान की जय जगदम्बिका माता की जय सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय सब कोई जय जय सीताराम सीताराम भगवान जय श्री कृष्ण एंड वी विल ऑफ कोर्स हाफ ऑनलाइन एंड से सीताराम uh to everyone or jai shri krishna om namo narayana to everybody um online wishing you all the best joining from so many parts of the world god bless all of you um for your time today so uh here we go uh raspati mangra dali sing Antalila, Saburam Narayan, Vishnu Pasad, Hemoti, Sati Chetram, Nandini Janki, Vidya Basi Ram, uh, Pratibha Sati Patel, Dali Singh, Sharli Pasad, Bhaji Raj and Devian family, um, uh, Manraj and Duryodhan Raj, Oma Bhagwan Din, uh, Asha, uh, Ramo Bhagwan Bin Charan, Kavita, Vidya, Nandir Marks, Shani Pasad, uh, Anti Usha Deer, um uh, uncle dalip ji ani ravian family ani the parshram and all the parshram there bibi lima yusuf darshni prasad family um and to andada uh, sunitan family uh, subnat devi ka prasad nasir komiti narain bhaji dev sabitan family in remarks sitavati jagdev from markham in the prasad um uh, rich and family rich ramnat kemo singh Oh, I want to wish happy birthday to my cousin today. I'm um, um cousin Monica celebrating her birthday. God bless you. I saw your beautiful picture on uh, online. Uh Sister Lila posted it up. Um uh Rona Devaram, uh, Shiv Gosai, uh, Didi Chandra, Kavita Kandavan Singh, uh Sara Singh, uh, Kamila Sukwa, Devan Singh, Prambasan, Ravi Jagdeo. Sunny and Basanti Manbodan family, Tina Prasad, Lovin Hardial, Savi Rohini Kilavan, Savi Tardwar, Devi Shanti from Guyana. Um Pati Dru Narain, Safi Samwaru, Lizzy Singh, Babita Bodwa, Kumari Singh, Jasmine Shri Kisun, Pamela Imrit from Montreal. Lily Ram, Jashoda Danraj, uh, Jay Sitaram everyone, Shanta Jay Ram. 
Hope all of you have a blessed, blessed uh, night and uh, stay well. God bless all of you. I'll see all of you tomorrow evening for uh, Shanti Satsang promptly at 7 p.m. Jai Sita everyone. Stay blessed.